Welcome in the third tutorial of this series for Aspen Plus. In this tutorial, we will see the flash separation, add a flash unit on our process flow sheet. We will update the user input. We will run the simulation and check the results. And at the end of this video, we will generate a temperature composition diagrams. To explore the previous and next tutorial, click on the relative title. In this tutorial, we will be building upon our existing simulation by adding a flash separation to our product stream. This unit operation can be used to represent a number of real-life pieces of equipment. A flash distillation is essentially a one-stage separation process and for our problem we are hoping to split our mixture into two streams one composed of primarily water and acetone and one composed of primarily methyl isobutyl ketone and acetone. Open up your simulation from your last tutorial, which you have hopefully saved. Select the separators tab in the equipment model library. We will be using a flash tree separator, using a rigorous vapor liquid liquid equilibrium to separate our streams for further purification. We can remove the stream table, select the flash tree separator and add one to your process flow sheet. Select the material stream from the stream library and add a product stream leaving the flash separator from the top side, from the middle and the bottom side, where the red arrows indicate a product is required. Do not add a stream to the feed location yet. To connect up the feed stream to your flash separator, right click on the product stream from your mixer. Select the option Reconnect Destination and attach this stream to the inlet arrow on the flash separator drum. Rename your streams as you like. We can rename also our flash, for example we can change B1 in flash1. You will notice that the simulation status has changed to required input incomplete because of the new unit operation that we have added to our process flow sheet. When making drastic changes to an existing simulation like we have, it's best to reinitialize the simulation. Do so now and then open up the data browser window. To open the data browser window, we can click on next. All of the user input is complete except for that in the blocks tab. One of the nice features of Aspen is that you only need to add input data to new feed streams and equipment and it will complete calculations to, to determine the compositions for all of the new intermediate and product streams. However, there is one pitfall to this feature. Keep in mind that we originally selected our thermodynamic method based on our original simpler situation. Aspen doesn't force you to go back to the thermodynamic selection to confirm that the user has selected the appropriate thermodynamic base for their problem and this can lead to convergence problems and unrealistic results if it's not considered. In order for our simulation to properly model vapor-liquid-liquid -liquid equilibrium we will need to change the thermodynamic method from ideal. We can go in properties and we can change the base method from ideal to Soave Red Kuang. We will be discussing the different thermodynamic methods in the next tutorial, so this will be not discussed in deep now. You may notice that the property method option automatically changed to the Soaver Redlich Kuang method as well. Now open up the input tab for the flash one block under the blocks tab in the data browser. You will notice that the user can specify two of four variables for the flash separator depending on your particular application. In our simulation, we will be specifying the temperature and pressure of our flash separator to the same values as our feed streams. Our feed streams has a temperature of 75 Fahrenheit degrees and 50 PCI as pressure. So we define 75 and 50 PCI. 
After inputting these two values, you will notice that the simulation status changed to require the input complete. Run your simulation at this time. As in the tutorial 2, be sure to check your results for both convergence and run status. In doing so, you will notice a system warning that arises due to changes in the simulation that we have made. Follow the suggestions presented by Aspen and change to the Steam MBS method as recommended. Reinitialize and rerun your simulation after making this change. So we go back in properties and under free water method we select Steam MBS. We reinitialize our simulation and we rerun it. As you can see, this time we haven't the message that we see before. At this point, your process flow sheet should look like this. You will notice that our simulation results in nearly perfect simu separation of the water from methyl isobutyl ketone and axteton mixture. However, in real life, this mixture is not this easy to separate. The simulation result is directly caused by the thermodynamic methods we have selected and you will see the influence that thermodynamics plays in the next tutorial. Aspen and other simulations programs are essentially a huge thermodynamic and physical property databases. We will illustrate this fact by generating a temperature composition plot for our axeton methyl isobutyl ketone stream for use in specifying our distillation column in a few weeks. In the menu bar, select Tools Analysis Property Binary. Tools Analysis Property Binary. When you have done this, the Binary Analysis window will open up. You will notice that this option can be used to generate temperature composition, pressure composition, or Gibbs energy of mixing diagrams. Select the temperature x epsilon analysis. You also have the option to complete this analysis for any of the components that have been specified in your simulation. We will be doing an analysis on mixture of methyl isobutyl ketone and axeton, so select these components. In doing an analysis of this type, the user also has the option of specifying which components will be used for the x axis. The default is whichever component is indicated as component 1. Make sure that you are creating the diagram for the mole fraction of methyl isobutyl ketone. When you have completed your input, hit the go button on the bottom of the window. When you select this button, the temperature composition plot will appear on your screen. The binary analysis window will open up behind this plot automatically as well. The plot window can be edited by right-clicking on the plot window and selecting properties. In the properties window, the user can modify the title, axis, scales, font and color of the plot. The plot window can also be printed directly from Aspen by hitting the print key. Close the plot window at this point in time. The binary analysis results window should be now be shown on your screen. You can see that this window shows a large table of thermodynamic data for our selected components. We can use this data to plot a number of different things using the plot wizard button at the bottom of the screen. Select that button now. In step 2 of the plot wizard, you are presented with 5 options for variables that you can plot for this system. Gamma represents the liquid activity coefficient for the components and it's plotted against small fraction. The remainder of the plot wizard allows you to select the components and modify some of the features of the plot that you are creating. And upon hitting the finish button, your selected plot should open. Again, the plot can be further edited by right clicking on the plot and selecting properties. You can try to plot the liquid activity coefficient we can use for x-axis methyl isobutene ketone and we can create a new plot clicking on next. We don't want to change these parameters so we click on finish. These are the gamma for methyl isobutyl ketone and axeton. In the next tutorial we will analyze in depth the thermodynamic methods. 
For further information, you can send an email or leave a message on YouTube. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!